Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. Happy Saturday. Yes, it is Saturday. Hopefully you all are enjoying the weekend thus far. In today's video, we'll be jumping into our news, comments, and reports. Yes, our news, comments, and reports, y'all. So stay tuned. Let's see what we got to talk about in today's video. If you are new here, please go ahead and consider subscribing. You guys, don't forget to like the video. I truly appreciate all of the support. Drop a comment and check in. Let us know where you're from and how you're doing. And, you know, what are you doing to stay prepared? Let's jump right into today's video. Happy Saturday. All right, so I'm sure that you all heard about the China balloon. Um, basically, this balloon is going around the U.S. and they're saying it's from China and it's spies in the sky. Let us know what you guys think about that. Um, supposedly, China and the U.S. is supposed to most likely go at war by the year 2030. Um, a lot of people think that it'd be 2025, but definitely close to the year of 2030. Let us know what y'all think about that as well. What's the possibilities? Um, you know, would it really happen? Would the U.S. go to war with China? Because then China side with um, Russia, you, we got to think about who are they allies and who are ours? You know, what would be the chances of this actually happening? In my honest opinion, I think that it will actually happen. When, I don't know. But I do think that it can happen. Now, when I tell you guys, Mr. Gates have his hands in everything. I think he was mentioned in the last Saturday video. So it says, Bill Gates backs the startup to create vegetarian egg substitutes, which I did discuss last time. So it says, the startup is housed in a garage-like space in San Francisco. So basically, like in one of those startup areas where a lot of products are being created and then tested it says its mission is to find plant replacements for eggs i thought they had something like this already i think it's called um like the vegan eggs what is it like just eggs or something like that i could be wrong i don't know if that's like a plant-based or not but they're trying to push it more more and more um the plant-based eggs let us know how you feel about the plant-based eggs. Eggs made purely out of plants. So it says the American Egg Board, which represents U.S. producers, said eggs cannot be replaced. Our customers have said they're not interested in egg substitutes. They want real natural eggs with their familiar ingredients, which I agree with. I don't want the substitute either. I want the real eggs, okay? All right, so the European Union, they are already started allowing house crickets and food products among with other bugs. So they are on board with putting these house crickets and other insects inside of their dried food ingredients. It's not long before it hits the U.S. How long do you guys think it will be before we see this on our menu? Conagra Brands is recalling nearly 2.6 million pounds of its cans Vienna sausages and chicken products due to packaging issues that could cause contamination without consumers even noticing. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service announced Tuesday that items produced between December 12, 2022 and January 13, 2023 from brands including Goya, Kroger, and Great Value may have damaged cans that could allow foodborne pathogens to enter. So what happens, guys, when you do have canned goods, you want to try to avoid storing these canned goods with the pullback lids, the pop lids, the pop openings <laughs> for long-term storage because some of them could start to leak open and then what happens is bacteria can enter inside and you won't even know it so canned goods with these type of lids are not for stockpiling guys 
day four, immediate to, you know, I'm going to have this in a few months and so and so. Keep it in your, you know, your, your rotating pantry. Keep it there. You know, don't put it up for long away emergency food storage. Things with pull lids like this, do not put them in your year's worth of food um, storage items, guys. So I'll leave this article in the pinned comment down below. In other news, there's so much going on with eggs. So let's say scientists warn eggs are causing thousands of people to suddenly form blood clots. Is that a cover up? Is it really from the eggs or is it really from the jab? Because I'm hearing from the jab, people catch strokes. Now, now from eggs, blood people clots getting from blood eggs? clots. Like, Man, what you think about I'm that? Telling you guys, com comment, share your thoughts in the comments. Control below that one. real. It truly is. All right, so the comment here someone says this year will be challenging. There is a depression on its way. They are calling it a recession on the mainstream media. Yeah, we are already in the recession when interest rates and inflation are lined up. Get prepared. All the tech companies are laying off huge amounts of people, and that is just the start. The dominoes are about to fall. So you guys take heed, and I definitely get it a lot. And I mean a lot of tech people are definitely laying off a lot. Once again, and I mean a lot, a massive amount of employees. And some, not even to their knowledge. Um, until they actually try to go ahead to their job, and or they find out the morning of. Um, and they find out, boom, you've been laid off. But it's more so of a permanent layoff. All right, so let's get into some of the comments. So the first comment do come from Mr. William. He says, they think we're stupid and can't see what's going on. They don't like those of us who can think for ourselves and make our own conclusions. All of these farms, distribution centers, grocery stores that are being destroyed by man-made disasters is just a quote-unquote coincidence. Um, you know what, William? I definitely agree with you. According to the powers that be, all of the obvious things we see but are told we're crazy for seeing the obvious. There's even videos right here on YouTube of food and PPE being stockpiled in underground bunkers. Three million square foot plus. And guess what? It is not for us. It's for the government, y'all. But according to them, everything is just fine. Lab generated food is their term for. We can put whatever we want in it and we won't tell you. They aren't even trying to hide it. And one thing I've been saying, y'all. They're not hiding stuff anymore. Things are putting right, it's being put right here on the table. Yes, I'm banging on the table because things are being put right on the table. And people still refuse to wake up. He says, I brought up the issue with the feed for the chickens and was told I don't know what I was talking about. Multiple farmers and homesteaders have already proven that one of the feed products from Tractor Supply Company and one made by Perina caused the hens to stop laying eggs. And if you want to know the truth, you're going to hear it first from the people who actually raising these hens, raising these chickens and been feeding, you know, the hens and chickens, um, this food in the moment that they stop and switch to something else, they start laying eggs again. Why is it nothing but the truth? And people still don't believe it. Let's wake up. William. I appreciate you. So the medication shortage is definitely gone almost all over the globe. Someone says, I'm in Scotland and it's the same over here. People are struggling to get antibiotics, painkillers, cold and flu medicine, and children's medicine. So if you're still looking around for medicine or you're stockpiling medicine, um, in the meantime, you can, you know, start to research natural remedies, um, you know, in the future, that's all we're going to actually be able to use. But some medications, I get it that some people are required to have. And it's a great backup. If you need it, you need it right then and there. And then someone came in and shared St. Albert Shoppers 
drug mart, no cold and flu medicine, nothing. Are other communities still having this problem? Is our government or supply chains? Someone must know the truth behind the problem. Let us know what you guys think the truth is of why we don't have any medications um, and vitamins. Why is it all running low? Let us know what you guys think the truth is. Someone also comes in and say, we never ate out much over the last 50 years. So this person is a older person. Mainly only if we have to. I cook 95% from scratch. So this is not the nowadays, you know. Nowadays, people don't cook 95% from scratch. I'm not going to say you don't, but a lot of people do not cook from scratch. And it's the truth. So this is something that we actually would have to get back used to, you know, learn what ingredients to have, you know, how to make, you know, simple items from scratch instead of picking up that now $2 um, off brand loaf of bread. We got to start making things from scratch and make it become part of the normal. I'm seeing in Montana, some restaurants are closing, mostly the locally owned. It's sad for those losing jobs, but teach your kids young how to make do. Cook from scratch, bake cookies, snacks, and bread. And I definitely agree. How many of you guys have young children? You're already teaching them how to cook from scratch. All right, so more about the chicken feed. Comment come from Rainbow Chaser. And I want to thank you in advance for sharing your personal experience on the feed so it says the info about the chicken feed is true i bought several bags of doomer layer feed from tractor supply in july or august soon after my hens stopped laying completely i started giving them homemade scratch and oyster shell i knew it had to be their diet out of 13 hens these changes increased their eggs to only two or three eggs a week for almost six months. They are free range during the day and do get what little table scrap I have. A few chickens died for no reason. They ate their own eggs a few times. I have been puzzled. I have never had this happen before and I take very good care of my chickens and keep clean bedding. I bought feed from a different store called Atwoods about six weeks ago. Within two weeks, switching all my hens started laying eggs again. So within two weeks of switching, all of the hens started laying eggs again, y'all. Two hens laid blue eggs and now I get eggs from both almost daily. I had not had a single blue egg in six months there are only two years old actually i feel kind of dumb for not figuring it out sooner i should have listened to my gut and switched when i first noticed it i felt awful about it wondering if my chickens were half starved of protein for months maybe even poison it seems all of the food supplements i was giving them should have been enough i don't know what to think I have eight hens now, and even in January, I'm getting five to six every day. I went to track the supply last week and told them what happened. The checker was already aware of the problem. The woman I spoke with thinks there will be a class action lawsuit. I would never get feed from a big box store again. I am in East Texas. You know what? Thank you so much for sharing your personal experience. And I'm so glad that you did figure it out. And I'm so glad that they are laying eggs again. So you're amazing. Keep doing what you're doing and keep a close eye on your hens. You know, so the feed is not only being messed with for the humans, but the feed for the animals is also being messed with too. So watch out. In another video, we did discuss fees being charged. I know Amazon is going up. Um, you will have to spend like $150 to get a free grocery delivery. So this person did send a message. It says, I live in Los Angeles County. I checked my past orders and I paid $9.95, y'all, for a service fee for Whole Food. And then a $4.99 service fee for Amazon Fresh. And of course, don't forget the tip delivery was free so after all of that i'm gonna feel like i'm paying a delivery fee i'm not gonna front y'all that's how i'm gonna feel <laughs> um thank you you did not include your name but thank you so much for sharing this um through email and reaching out but yes aren't these fees going up y'all we are being charged charge and charge we gonna be charged for every little 
thing. I mean, it costs money to even walk out the house, right? It costs money to stay in the house. <laughs> so either way, y'all, you know what? We're going to end this video right here. Where is that? I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did not reach me in the comments, because sometimes YouTube do be tripping with the comments, y'all, you can always reach me through email at hashtag momlife04 at gmail.com. It's also listed in the description box down below. You can always email me. Um, so yes, we're going to end this video right where it's at. We're trying to keep it under 20 minutes, you guys, because I know these news, comments, and reports be long. So if you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. It really helped us keep the glow and make us grow. Um, make sure that you all enjoy the rest of the weekend. Make sure that you all stay prepped, stay blessed, and stay safe. And most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings don't forget to keep stocking keep stacking keep prepping and stay aware stay aware don't lose faith don't lose hope do what you can do while you can do it until next time this is shauna and i am checking out from moments with us and much love to all of you peace